welcome dear students to your fourth virtual english language class hope you are healthy and cheerful as ever so today we shall study a new chapter which is very well related to lesson number 8 let us revise what we had learned in lesson 8 so children we know that every sentence must begin with a capital letter now today we are learning about full stops and question marks in sentences this is lesson 9 a sentence must begin with a capital letter and end with a full stop exercise number 1 put a full stop at the end of these sentences a car has four wheels notice that a is first letter of the sentence this is why it is a capital letter this sentence ends with a full stop b tom ate pizza now t is capital and the sentence ends with a full stop c i drank a glass of water so here i is capital and sentence ends with a full stop a sentence is also used to ask a question it begins with the question words such as who what where why when how do is are you must repeat these words every day to remember them now see how we use a question mark with question words a sentence that begins with a question word ends with a question mark for example who are you now where is the question word children see who is the question word and the sentence ends with a question mark number 2 is it raining again is is a question word and the sentence ends with a question mark so children did you notice that the way we ask a question is different from the way we state something we change the pitch and the tone of our voice to match what we are saying for example i need your pen it's a statement may i take your pen it's a question so you might have noticed that when we ask a question so our pitch and tone are different so now you do this practice at home ask question little i mean small questions with your friends talk to them in english and with your parents also ask small questions like uh, um, can i sit may i have this can i play with you can i watch tv so such sentences you should practice at home okay So now you have learned how to put a question mark. Exercise number two, children. Put a capital letter, full stop, and question mark in the following sentences. Now here we are learning three things, children. Use of capital letters, full stop, and question marks. cream is made from milk now c is capital and the sentence ends with a full stop b grass is green g in grass is capital and sentence again ends with a full stop now let's see the uh, next one what is your name 
do you think we have to put a full stop here no because again it's a question word here what is your name and the sentence ends with a question mark d how old are you now where is the question word children c how is the question word and sentence ends with a question mark let's come to exercise 4 we have to place it in correct order and make it a question as we have learned today that every question begins with a question word and ends with question mark so we will apply it in this exercise number 1 notebook where is you do you think it's a correct sentence children yes you are right this is a wrong sentence now we have to write it in a proper or correct order it is done for you where is your notebook now where is the question word and we have to put a question mark here to make it question sentence now rest of the exercises have done for you i'm sure children you have understood the lesson very well and enjoyed the lesson do this work in your english language notebooks goodbye and take care